So we always have in the design we always have a minimum liquid flow rate minimum absorbent or liquid flow rate L prime minimum or sometimes we also write it in this way L prime or we write it in this way L prime V prime minimum okay so what does it mean that means the minimum liquid flow rate absorbent flow rate or minimum slope of the operating line that we can have which is this line here which is this line here so minimum liquid flow rate or minimum minimum uh, slope is when the operating line will have an intersection with equilibrium line. Okay, that means is when these two points, y n plus one and x n, they are in equilibrium. These two points are located on operating line, but in the minimum slope they will be on the on the equilibrium line as well this this point that means this will be these two will be in equilibrium okay so that's the minimum we cannot go lower than this liquid flow rate and because other if we go minimum lower than this we we will cross this equilibrium line so we will have such a line like this that this will this is not acceptable because now my operating line is cutting the equilibrium line that is against the thermodynamic law we can never is as if you know that temperature always go from higher temperature to lower temperature pressure goes from upper pressure to lower pressure even for the mass mass transfer mass goes from uh, higher mass for, or mole fraction to lower mole fraction but if in this case if if the operating line cut and cross the equilibrium line is as if the mass is going from lower mole fraction to higher mole fraction which is not acceptable based on thermodynamic law so that's the minimum and but usually the operating operating uh, operating liquid flow rate is usually is usually 1.5 times the minimum flow rate so the operating l prime operating is one point five times minimum l prime this is something that we usually we use this value so we can have even higher values so for higher value the slip, slope will be uh, much i mean more uh, larger and this is when we have in illimit uh, i mean infinite amount of absorbent it means l bar is very very high that we have an infinite slope like a vertical line those are this is just an imaginary you know operating line that never exists so this operating line this one is the most common operating line that we have in absorber this one here now okay so we are doing all these things we are doing all these things to find the number of stages all we are doing here is to find the number of stages so uh, uh, as i said uh, we cannot uh, our limit is the operating line that has the infinite slope and the one that has the minimum slope so we always work in some between these two okay, those are our two limits now, uh, if I want to do some kind of mathematical calculation to find L prime minimum, the minimum flow rate of absorbent. So what I can do, first of all, I have this operating line. 
that I already drive, I already wrote it. So I will extract L prime from this operating line. If I extract L prime from this equation, I can reach to this equation. N is the number of stages that we have in the absorber. So this part, this paragraph doesn't add anything. Uh, I mean, it's not something new. I already explained that if the operating line cross and cut the equilibrium line, that would be against the thermodynamic law. So min the, the minimum, uh, minimum uh, operating line that we have is this line here. We cannot go lower than this. So, okay, this is L prime from equation seven. Now I can do some additional work on this equation. Let's go to the next slide, slide 45. So, uh, so as I said, in L prime minimum, xn and yn plus 1 they are in equilibrium with each other. Okay, so this is at the bottom of the column that I have I have 1 uh, what's that really? What's that really? Okay, I have yn plus 1 because this is my n and xn this n is leaving x n is leaving and y n plus one is going so these two are are in equilibrium with each other so it means i can have the equilibrium equation written between these two points between this x and this y so based on the equation that we have for equilibrium constant so i just need to replace x with x n over y x plus n and here i have y n plus one over one plus y n plus one so this is how this is the equation that we have since this two in l prime minimum these two are in equilibrium so since they are in equilibrium the equilibrium equation is valid between these two the equilibrium equation which is this equation is valid between these two. By the way, when we have minimum operating line, the number of stages in infinite. Okay, minimum of a minimum slope or minimum flow rate give us the infinite number of stage. Okay, which is something like imaginary, right? Or we need, as I said, we need a very very big amount of stages to do the separation, because at the end they reach to equilibrium here. So when we are close to equilibrium separation is not easy so we need to have many stages to do the same job that uh, we, we do when we are far from uh, uh, we are far from equilibrium so now what i do okay so i have i have this equation okay and also i have so this is my l prime i also i have a relation between x xn and yn and equilibrium i have this equation equation seven and also i have this equation equation a so i can merge these two equations together once i do i will reach to this equation so now instead of l i will put l prime so this is the equation that i have and this is the equation that i have and uh, which is which gives me l prime minimum as a function of some uh, as a function of some parameters v prime y x and so on i can uh, work a little bit more on this equation if i consider that i have a very the dilute uh, solute condition Dilute it means very low, very low concentration. Very very low concentration means that your x is very small. Very dilute concentration means x and y are very small. 
very dilute or low concentration condition y is very small almost zero very small almost zero and x is also x is also very small almost zero so in this condition my y is what y is y1 minus 1 my, my y over 1 minus y so when this is a very small almost zero so i can remove it from here so i i will have my large y is almost my my capital y is almost a lowercase y and x which is x over 1 minus x so this x is also very small i can just remove it from here so x capital will be also a small lowercase x so i can instead of x capital i can use lowercase x and instead of y capital i can use lowercase y so if you replace that these two parameters here you can simplify this equation to to this one you can simplify that this equation to, you can simplify it to to this you can still do some further mathematical uh, some further mathematical operation just rearrange this based on uh, based on different parameters based on x or y and you can you know like replace this y x with each other and at the end you will reach to this equation so if i can consider this as this is the fraction of solute absorbed so how much solute is absorbed in reality my solute arrives at this concentration and leaves at this concentration so this is how how much it is absorbed if uh, in the ideal case that at the end they reach to the equilibrium so this will be if my system was ideal the amount of separation will be this much this is the arriving concentration of let's say co2 and this is the leaving condition at the top uh, if they they reach to the equilibrium condition so i can just replace this with a simple word so my L prime can be L prime minimum can be V prime times K N times this this part. This part is the fraction of solute absorbed divided. I mean the fraction of solute absorbed comparing with the ideal situation. No need to to memorize this or even write this. It's just some. I have to explain to you what is this equation and what we can do with this. So we can find L prime minimum by using this equation so here is uh, talking about uh, the reasonability of this equation is saying that this equation is reasonable because it makes sense that uh, uh, if we increase uh, v prime based on this equation here if we increase v prime l prime will increase if we increase and the prime will increase if we need more more uh, solute to be absorbed it means the fraction of absorbed high more more fraction of absorbed so we have to also increase l prime that all of them they make sense so if we have more gas to to do the separation it, it means we have more v prime so it means we have to include increase the liquid we need more liquid to do the absorption if uh, we have we want our solute to be absorbed more we, we want to have more separation we want this fraction to be more so we need to use more solvent this is obvious right that, that is also that can be also seen from this uh, relation here uh, okay so as i said l prime minimum is just a design parameter but in reality we don't work uh, with column in that condition because in that case we need uh, I mean, in, in, uh, we have infinite, in that condition, we need infinite number of stages. Typically, we choose 
for the liquid flow rate we choose a value between 1.1 to 2 L prime minimum so L prime operating real one is something between 1.1 to 2 L prime minimum this is the operating condition that 1.5 L prime minimum is the most common L that we use 1.5 L prime minimum is the most common common use okay 1.5 or 1.4 those are the commonly used value for the separation 